All right, guys, today we got the Obsbat Tail Air and then we got the Obsbat Tiny 2 webcam. We're gonna be comparing both cameras, especially if you wanna get either of this camera. I wanna make sure you know which one is best for you. Just to let you know, guys, all these two cameras, I actually do love them. However, depending on the use case scenario, you may find yourself maybe buying one or the other. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. By the way, if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Sam, you're watching the production tips and tools. And as you can see, my studio is flat washed out because I wanted to actually test these two cameras in two different scenarios, right? So what you're watching right now is the Osbat Tiny 2 4K image. It's actually a webcam. This one is actually running directly into my computer through Streamlabs. That's how I'm recording this video. And then this is the Obsbat Tail Air running through my ATEM Mini Pro going directly into Streamlabs, okay? Now, this is like the worst case scenarios where I have just my key light and all the studio walls are just white and I've got one light source in the background and I'm gonna switch to my regular studio lighting. By the way, everything is running on auto. I just wanted you guys to see what it will look like, okay? So now I'm gonna switch to my regular studio view and and we're gonna be going back and forth before we get into key features and all the things that I want to compare for these two cameras. So let's go. All right, guys, so we are back and we got my studio lights and everything that I usually have here in my studio. So as you can see, lighting changes everything. Let's go back, switch to Tiny 2. And this is the image from the Tiny 2 camera. The idea is to make sure you know which camera is actually best for you. So first thing we're gonna compare, obviously, is gonna be the features. Now, when it comes to features, the Tail Air is actually packed. It's full of features. As you can see, this thing is really big compared to the tiny tiny is actually smaller than this camera's lens all right so both cameras of course they can track and do all the good stuff from us but however when it comes to this big one all right we got ndi in the tail air tiny 2 doesn't have ndi we got poe which means you can actually power it using an ethernet cable just use usb type c adapter that will allow you to connect an ethernet cable if you're using ndi you're gonna be able to use both ndi and power the camera third you got hdmi that's how i'm running the camera going directly into my atem mini you're gonna need the little adapter because it's a micro hdmi by the way this may be changed to its image because we're talking about it and then on the top of that we have micro sd card and it's got a built-in battery so i can take it out it doesn't have to be plugged in i'm gonna be able to use all the tracking and everything because it's got a gimbal i'm gonna be able to use the tracking and all the ai features and we got wi-fi bluetooth gesture control and everything it has really a lot of features compared to this one now they both can record in 4k 30 frames per second and if you're doing 1080p you're gonna get 60 frames per second i don't see any deciding factor when it comes to deciding one or the other another thing you're gonna get that both actually share gesture control right so you can do like some things like this and the camera is gonna zoom in and you can do like something like this and then the camera is gonna zoom out and they're both going to be doing the tracking right so i can walk right now as you can see something in my studio explaining stuff you know showing off what's in my background here as you can see it's tracking me no problem like everything every single move i do they both work now the big difference though this one the tiny two one thing that has the tail air doesn't have it has what's called voice control which means i can talk to it and it's going to react and if you go to the software you can actually find all the things that you have to say for it to listen to you by the way you can disable it you can disable the tracking or the voice control but if i go to more here you can see you got the gesture control that you can actually disable everything and you got the voice control these are things that you can say the camera is going to actually listen to you and react so other than that in terms of tracking if you ask me which one tracks better i think they both do a good job the only thing that i actually notice is when i use the tracking on the tiny two i feel like my image looks good as i walk out of my main light right if i switch to the tail air i look good i feel like my image looks more natural however if i walk out of my key light you can see 
that my face actually gets darker right i think the tiny two kind of gets a point there so another thing is if you can see the image as you can see we got a little bit of noise if you are in a darker area of course my lighting in my studio is really not that bad so what i was saying is because the sensor sizes are different so the big camera here tell a has one over 1.8 sensor size and then the small tiny camera has one over 1.5 so the sensor is slightly bigger and that's why the image quality coming from the tiny two is actually way better when it comes to key features really i think the tail air wins 100 but be careful because most of you guys don't need all those features because at some point you're gonna have to pay for it that's why the tail air costs about 500 dollars and the tiny two costs around 320 dollars but you can see the price different also justifies the reason why we're getting so many features in the bigger camera Camera. again for the image quality you guys can see if i switch this camera right here i feel like the image quality coming from the tiny 2 is actually better however if i was recording outdoors where lighting conditions is not a problem you could probably have more latitude when it comes to post processing if you're doing some color grading and stuff like that i believe the tail air will actually have better image when it comes to post production and maybe tweaking the image because again the image it's more natural so it gives you this ability to have a raw image that you can actually process in a way that you want so when it comes to software with the tail air we have a mobile app and the mobile app is going to allow you to do really most of the things now it makes sense because if you're recording outdoors you don't have access to a computer it also comes with a remote controller that you can use if you don't need the mobile app and it will still do all the basic stuff right but with the mobile app you can preview the image you can see all the things and it gives you really the ability to control the camera for the tiny 2 it comes with this application on the desktop here and you can go ahead and actually do a lot of stuff you can even go make your background a little blurry set up for your tracking if you are in a beauty niche you can actually do some makeup on your face transform your body if you need to i think you have better control with the tiny 2 even though on the mobile app you're still getting almost everything you need however i don't think this will be a deal breaker they are all okay in my opinion this is really my conclusion when it comes to these two cameras the tiny two is just a webcam all right and this is gonna be the deciding factor for most of you guys tiny two has a better sensor image quality is better for connectivity you got usb type c that goes into your computer and you can record from there uh you can stream you can do all the good stuff as for the tail air is a little different you got hdmi if you want to build a multi-cam production set if you have like three four cameras you can connect these cameras through a switcher you also have ndi you have srt that will allow you to send directly the feed to obs it's like a ptz camera with all the cool features you got built-in battery so it can do what the tiny 2 does and actually more i hope this was helpful i know i talked a lot but i just wanted to give you an idea guys webcam versus ptz webcam hdmi camera so that there's a big big difference both cameras i've got links down below if you are interested so if you want to see an image of my gh5 compared to the other cameras this is what it looks like guys as you can see the image quality is not that different from all these two webcams you can see how far technology has come if you want to see my full review of the tiny 2 i'm gonna link it right here if you want to see a full review of the tail air as well i'm gonna link it here make sure to check them out and i'll see you there guys take care